Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at Sea Fish and Sips. It's just after 6 a.m. Sunday, April 10th, 2022. Now I'm down here at the Sport Fishing Landings, so Fisherman's Landing and uh, H&M Landing, Point Loma Sport Fishing. I'm gonna check out the boats, see if they're still on the bluefin tuna. I didn't read the reports to see if they're still catching them, but my friend Chad went out yesterday on the hard knots on a trawler and they ended up getting a four or five bluefin trolling hawaiian style lures so that was really cool chad gave me the report on that the wind's blowing today but it looks like the dolphin still going out on the half day trip right there they're all loaded up and ready to go got some people fishing off the docks here tomahawk's not running yet but they're all repaired. They they got a damaged boat last year. Wave crashed into it going out to Tanner Bank and busted the front end. They're all fixed up now though. Let's see, where's the fish at? Knife shake set up. I don't know if I missed the fish or if they're still bringing it out. Looks like a lot of people kept their got their fish filleted up. Legends coming in though. Down at H and M landing. Premier is getting ready to go out half day boat there's the legend down there here's some of the holes blue fans looking like that smaller grade fish that smaller blue fin go talk to some of the anglers right now up top while they bring the fish up new low amp point loma sport fishing right here Dudes are fishing the 300s. Um, you know, it really wasn't much current out there in this trip, but um, you were down it, south, even Mexico. Yeah. But uh, we were. But, uh, every trip is a little bit different. Uh, yeah. so, I like to bring an assortment of jigs just in case. We got limits in like 30, 45 minutes. 
that's how last weekend was, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of been that same routine. It's been pretty epic. Thanks for the info. Is that on the jig? Uh, yeah, uh, not Nine. 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 delivery all the way to the truck. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> there was some of the boats there coming out of one of the almost sport fishing. it dolphins leaving to go out for the day and everyone's grabbing their fish everybody got limits not the biggest fish I just saw one on the scale it was at 16 pounds so the fish aren't of the biggest size but they're biting they're chewing they're hungry and we're gonna check out that he's saying the not necessarily the heaviest is the best for the knife jig he's saying the two and the three the 300 gram is working good so take a look at that some of the 300 gram knife jigs inside the Tackle shop here. Yeah, see, like this right here. This is a good one. 300 gram Jake Para. Glow in the dark. Knife jigs, butterfly jigs right here, 300 gram. No, 224, they don't have the.
There they are all right here. That's them, all 300 gram. Whole bunch of 300 gram knife jigs. That's the hot ticket, you saw it here. Next up, we're down here at H&M Landing. I saw the legend coming back. We're gonna see if we can catch them and some of their fish that they're unloading. Is that the legend that was right here? Wow, see Adventure 80, it looks like they put up lights. They have like squid lights for night fishing for tuna. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. I got to hit up Captain Scott McDaniels. And see what's good with when the Sea Adventure 8 is going to start running. Let's see if when they're going to bring these fish through. That, that looks like a couple on the bigger size than that, that one. Very few. When we hit the, 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 the night. Night of, uh, I'm gonna say like at uh, midnight. That's when we started getting the bigger ones. The bigger ones were at nighttime. Yes. And did you have to get down deeper or not no, necessarily? We were trying, I, I was trying different colors, different sizes. <laughs> yeah. Me and my son we were trying, and there were <laughs> other people, and there were nothing. They, a few of them got hit uh, on the jig and, and, uh, and the bigger stuff. But there were like once you start switching it to the sniper. So the, yeah, the, the cold snipers. And even the, so the bigger fish hit the cold yeah, snipers too. Yeah, yeah. And then did color, was there a difference in color on the snipers that you fell? Or was, chrome? No, the, the sardine type. Sardine. Sardine. And then the blue, blue and, and uh, kind of like a goldfish looking type. Yeah. Then we went back and hit another smaller type. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw a couple of them. Any yellowtail? Did you find a yellowtail? No. I saw one yellowtail on one of the boats. What what reel were you using? Fathom yeah. 40? Yeah. You have the narrow or the regular? Regular. And then also using the, the three that. Hey, and holding it, right? Yeah. That's for the size that you got? Yeah. Yeah, no, those are bigger than, I saw one on the scale over there that was only 16 pounds. Those look like, yeah, the, there's some 40s in there. Yeah, that's what it, it looks like overall that it's a lot better grade. Wait, this was a two day trip? Two and a half. Two and a half. So you got able to get four fish instead of just the two, yeah. Smash. So don't put it at the bottom. Thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Oh my! You're pretty. Pretty like soon, you'll see me with the flute, with everybody else in the fleet. Yeah. Because then when I get my solo, uh, or man, my sailboat, and then I put my my solo skip on the sailboat, and then I'm out there at Tanner Bank. You know? yeah. <laughs> and with the engine that you have on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then you really go out there. Yeah, no, that, when I when I combine oh, it with the guys. sailboat, yeah, when I combine it with the 19. sailboat, that's where it's going to be magic. 18! 18! Number one. 18! Number one, number one. Number one. Number one. Seven. 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 Number one. Number six. 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 Right? Six. Eighteen. Six. Six. Eighteen. Six. Hold on. There you go. Alright, guys, we got it. Fish for late. Yeah, 21. 22. 21. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Were you on this trip right here? Yeah. What's your name? Tony. Tony? Yeah. You got, uh, what you, What was the ticket? Did you get any big ones? 21. Uh, cold sniper? No. 80 gram cold sniper? Three. She's on a 280 gram uh, flat fall. Number 20. You got yours on the flat fall? Yeah. 
Because I was just talking Number to another three. guy, he's saying that the Number cold three. sniper, Eleven, that was working the best for him. Twelve. Cold sniper was good. Number three. Flap was good. Seventeen. Wait. Number three. Number three. Eleven. Number two. But, but what, like, couple of levels. what size Nigel? Jake. Uh, two. Number two. Is heavier, is he, he heavier the better, would you say, or not necessarily? Yeah, because that's what the tech in a new low end said, like, the 300 gram was good, you know. Last week they were saying the 420, and then he was saying that the, uh, the 80 gram cold sniper. <laughs> you just have to throw stuff out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What, what reel were you using? What uh, setup do you use? I was using the pen torque. Number pen torque one. 40. So, um, so the torque is, is is that similar to the international or is it? So, it, so there's the fathom torque and the internet, international, you know? So, 19. I mean, the, for me, for me, torque is, it, it, it works well, man, you know? And you have a 12 or a 16 or what size? Uh, yeah, I have the torque 25, 30, 40, international 20, oh, you 30, guys got 50. The dolly ready and everything. You're on it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so you know your stuff. No, that's what I always like to hear what people Whoa. say. And so, uh, Whoa. but then when the big boys come out, you get that 50 wide. Yeah, 12, yeah. Where's it going? Process? Uh, Number 20. No tag. That's 13. Later, Toad. Yeah, bro. You guys killed him as usual, huh? What was up? What would you think was the best jig? Everyone, hey, you're my boy, man. The 80 gram. You're my best friend out there. Yeah, and then a 300 gram nice jig. Yeah, any color. Right on. Later, man. <laughs> nice work. Have a good one. You too, bud. All right, that's gonna do it all for my sport fishing report for today. They're still on them. The bluefin are chewing, they're biting everything. Seems like pretty much a jigs only bite, daytime and nighttime. All size jigs, 80 gram cold sniper up to the 300 gram knife jigs, flat falls. Talked to some people coming back from the legend, the two and a half day trip. They got limits all the way around, so. Four, four bluefin per person if you go on a two day trip, two and a half day trip. Checked out over at Fisherman's Landing and saw some of the boats coming in with the smaller grade uh, fish over there. They had some better grade on the legend here, here than I saw over on the other boats. So that's all. We'll wait out this weather and then be back on the water fishing on the solo skiff, giving you reports from here down the water if you haven't already. Smash that subscribe, pound that like, hit that follow. Thank you for following along. One love, tight lines. Mikey, SD Fish and Sips. You out.